We're here at the hotel bar and I get to learn how to make a Pisco sour. Plus, we're gonna do a whole Pisco tasting, all the different grapes. It's Always. a good thing that I'm dumping most huh? of this or I would be on the floor. Floor, you like. But it's strong without about This is a lifestyle and travel show. I'm reporting on people who are making an impact in the world of food, fashion, and wellness. Enjoy the show, and if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. I'm here with Andre, and he's going to talk to us all about Pisco. I'm Andre, I come from Brazil. Pisco is the alcohol made with grapes. We have 80 different kinds of grapes. Some ones you feel like a green apple, another one raisin, sometimes olives. So this is quebranta? Quebranta. Quebranta. What am I supposed to smell? I feel more like a green apple, ah. but it's strong. This one is actually heavy 42. This is 42% alcohol. Okay. Yes. We're gonna try now the Italia. It is a white grape. It's a little bit more floral, aromatic than quebranta. A little bit more sweet in the mouth, okay. but they have the same alcohol, 42%. This is completely different. This is fruity, and this one is floral. Oh. The Moscato grape. It's a really sweet one. In Pisco, it's not. You're going to teach me how to make a very good the pisco best sour. Three shots. Three shots. Three shots of pisco. But for one pisco, pisco sour. sour. Yeah. Wow. Three. When you make for yourself, a little bit more <laughs> simple sugar syrup. Simple sugar. Fresh key lime juice. Need to be the key lime. Not confused sometimes if people ah, use the big one. No, okay. need to be the small one. And just half egg white. Half a shot of egg whites. Yeah. In general, they say one. We like to use just a half because you don't want to make too much foam on the cocktail. Ah. And we can make the show like this one ah. and start to shake. <laughs> now we're gonna add some ice cubes. Why you add, add later? Because if I add the ice together here, the ice is gonna dilute fast. We have more water inside. Mm -hmm. Here, like for 10, 10 seconds. That's enough. You wanna see on the lights the quantity of the foam. The quantity of the foam will be just a really small line. Mm -hmm. drops. drops of bitters. One for health, health, one for love, one for money. Money. Got it. Okay, I'm behind the bar now. Andre is going to walk me through mm -hmm. making a pisco sour. I have my husband, who I just called up from the gym, to taste it. Three shots in one pisco sour. I'm just saying. Okay, here we go. So, pro tip, if you're at home and you want to make a pisco sour, but you're like me and you're a vegan and you don't want the egg white, just take the juice from the garbanzo beans, you know, the juice that's in the can, it makes it all foamy and you stay vegan. You save the bitters to the end. To the end. Okay. Fine. Then you press. Very strong. Now, I'll push. Yeah, that's, that's a fight. Enjoy, you have fun to, to dance in the bar. If you were my bartender, I would be a phone. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, look then at that you phone. have a phone. That's Andre a approved phone. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, no. Wow. There you go, babe. There you go. Lib the bartender. Salud. 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 I give you a really good tip. <laughs> <laughs> It's good, right? It's really good. It's good, it's good. Andre yeah, approved, you. Luis approved. We just made our perfect Pisco Sour, thanks to Andre and now my husband, Pappy. Delicious. Thank you, Andre. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure.